Falconeers. We are in London, England, and we are going to show you the top 10 things you can do here. Number one is Westminster Abbey. Pro tip, get here before 9 a.m. to avoid the crowd. The Abbey has been the Coronation Church since 1066 and a setting for many other great events in the life of the nation. This is the burial place of kings and queens and of other distinguished figures in the nation's history. We're picking up a device that will give us a self-guided tour. Unfortunately, photography is not allowed in the building. Number two is the Postal Museum. This museum reveals Britain's remarkable social and communications history through the eyes of an iconic service. We're picking up a scavenger hunt and we'll be looking for stamps throughout the museum. I found one! There are fun hands-on displays such as this pneumatic system that lets you send messages through a tube. We're turning in our scavenger hunt for a souvenir. We're going to ride on a miniature train and experience 15 minutes of immersed underground exploration. We're going back in time through the original tunnels and station platforms of London's 100-year-old Postal Railway. Next, we're going to explore the Mail Rail Exhibition. Brother and I are racing our trains by turning the wheel. Next, we are going to play at the Traveling Post Office. Lastly, Brother is going to play in the children's room. I'm delivering mail. Number three is the Tower of London. This is an iconic medieval castle with centuries of history. First, we're stopping by the Welcome Center to pick up some activity books. We're walking through the part of the tower built by Edward I and his father, Henry III. This is the chamber of King Edward. We're climbing up to another tower. You can get a view of Tower Bridge from here. In this section, you can see many artifacts from the nobles, such as this portable altarpiece. Next, we're entering the Broad Arrow Tower, which was used for defense. We're looking at some crossbows. Did you know there was a zoo at the castle? Exotic animals were exchanged among powerful rulers to impress each other. Brother and I are playing with some interactive displays. It's time to check out the crown jewels. This is where crowns, ropes, and other ceremonial objects are kept. Unfortunately, photography is not allowed in here. Lastly, we're watching a British guard. Brother, don't try to make him laugh. Number four is the London Transport Museum. This museum explores the story of London and its transport system over the last 200 years. We learned that the word bus comes from omnibus, which means for all in Latin. And we got to go inside one. We're playing with some hands-on exhibits. London's first horse tram was in 1870. Guess when New York's first horse tram was? Ta-da! This model shows the construction of the underground. We're also collecting stamps at stations around the museum. Next, we're playing in the kitty area. We're climbing aboard this double-decker. Now we're looking at an exhibit on the underground. We're in an old-fashioned subway car. Lastly, we're playing with a train simulator. I'm pushing down on the brake to stop the train. Brother, release the door for the passengers. Oh no, 
the train got detached from the power source. Every driver has to be trained. I need to fix it before we can continue. Number five is St. Paul's Cathedral. This is an Anglican cathedral, the seat of the Bishop of London, and the Mother Church of the Diocese of London. We're picking up a self-guided tour. The device takes us to the highlights of the church. There are even games you can play on the gadget. We're looking at some classic art and contemporary pieces. Now we're going to climb 528 steps to the top of the dome. Watch out, low ceiling ahead. We have 152 more steps to go. Whoa, you can see the ground floor of the cathedral through this window. Number six is Shakespeare's Globe. This is a reconstruction of the Globe Theater and Elizabethan Playhouse for which William Shakespeare wrote his play. The original theater was built in 1599, but was destroyed by a fire in 1613. There are many costumes on display, as well as an exhibition of props. Ah, scary faces! I'm making a storm effect by turning this windmill. Now I'm going to make a pole. It's time to go on a guided tour. The docent is telling us that the globe is built about 230 meters from the site of the original theater. Next, she's taking us inside the playhouse. We got a chance to see actors rehearsing for a show. Don't forget to visit the gift shop before you leave. Number seven is Churchill War Rooms. This place showcases the life and legacy of Winston Churchill in the bunker and museum hidden beneath the streets of Westminster where he ran World War II. This quote by Winston Churchill says, you ask, what is our aim? I can answer in one word, it is victory. But that's three words, it is victory. In this gallery, we're learning about the life of the Prime Minister. This interactive display shows the timeline and events in the life of Winston Churchill. I didn't know Sir Winston was also an artist. Now we're visiting the bunkers where Britain's leaders plotted the route to victory during the Second World War. Finally, we're visiting the gift shop. Number eight is Tate Modern. This museum features international modern and contemporary art. And the best part is that it's free. This display shows quotes from famous artists. like a cow. Ooh. We're going to draw on this carpet wall. Lastly, we're going to the viewing level for a great sight of the city. Number nine is Borough Market, and we're going to look for something to eat. This is London's most renowned food and drink market featuring British and international produce. You can get many free samples here. Thank you. Now I'm gonna eat a 
bacon cheeseburger. Next, we're having paella, watermelon juice, donut, and candied fruit. Number 10 is the British Museum. This museum features over 2 million years of human history and culture. Come on brother, let's go look at some art. We're going up to the next level. This gallery showcases Rembrandt's drawings. The next exhibit is on postcards. And that's our top 10. We hope you enjoyed the video.